right, we're with Ed Cassanders, uh, CEO and President of Motion Fitness and Exiting Fitness. Um, Ed, some of my students are wondering what, why is it important for them to know about the shift in, in uh, focus away from traditional sports and PE to more um, lifetime and fitness-based curriculum. Why is this important for phys ed teachers to be to un, uh, to know this shift and to, to embrace it? Uh, you know, so what we think is really important, and what we're trying to do is teach kids the importance of just health and fitness, being a wellness person as opposed to a being good at a sport or having good skills in certain areas of it. Because a health and fitness will last with you for your entire life. Mm -hmm. So what we do with the extra gaming products is we'll give them some tools, a comfort level that they're very familiar with, using technology, any way to, any way for them at all to experience what it feels like to be health healthy, to uh, increase their fitness, to feel energized, uh, to feel better about themselves. So down the road, they feel more and more comfortable level with that. They might be intimidated to go into a health club. They might be intimidated uh, playing with some of their friends because they might be a little bit overweight or something like that. So what can we do to break that barrier so then they understand what it feels like? If I, if I don't exercise, I might start to feel kind of groggy and weird, and, but, but they need to know what it feels like to be healthy first mm -hmm. and not a part of it. Now, you came from the traditional sport and fitness industry, you know, and you still right. are in that area. Right. Um, but you know what was the what was the big moment where you kind of made the shift to more schools, YMCA's fitness? You know, it's a little more away from you know traditional workout gear and, and sure. programming. And because now you're into programming and you're doing other things. Right. And yeah, we started out as a traditional fitness company, selling the weights and home gyms and the bodybuilding type of stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. um, basically, to me, it was capturing a bigger part of the market. So part of it was a business strategy because we're capturing a bigger part of the market mm -hmm. and part of it was going after kids. So my bigger part of the market, I mean, there is, I always use roughly, and I know it's probably less, 20% of the people in the, in the U.S. go to a health club, they're healthy, they participate in sports. So how are we going to capture the other 80%? Mm -hmm. So even from a business model, you would still look at, these are 80% of the people that will buy stuff, purchase stuff, program stuff, whatever. And this is also 80% of the, the population that I can touch. These are the kids who are not healthy, mm -hmm. who are not in the sports, who are not, um, you know, trying to figure out other ways to get healthy. And those are the kids we need to touch. In that part. And really what's kind of interesting, those, those stats probably figure in pretty closely to the pe percentage of people that don't like PE or haven't enjoyed a good PE program, that 80% yeah, that right. you don't really impact that much, you know, that, that, uh, that, that don't that enjoy going and aren't motivated to go mm -hmm. to a PE class every single day. Yeah, exactly, they've had a bad experience, they don't have, enjoy participating, they're the ones at the nurses or the uh, principal's office trying to get a note to get out of, uh, to get out of school. Mm -hmm. um, and if they are going through it, they're just going through the motions of it because they're not, they're not, they're not having fun. Right. You know. Which speaks to having new and innovative programming and changing sure. the curriculum up towards more fitness or more personalized uh, level of fitness, I guess. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. Now, um, as a lot of my students are, uh, are are preparing to become student teachers who eventually will become teachers, what's you know uh, a singular focus or what's the main guiding principle you want them to leave the school or start to start to adopt now so that they can they can maximize their student learning and so that they can right. become a, a more impactful teacher. Right. So what what you know what we've seen in the extra game and the technology area is to embrace what the kids like. So obviously this whole generation is very technology oriented, computer oriented, their web, their smartphone, and that kind of stuff. And so instead of browbeating them over and over again, get away from screen time, get away from video games, put the smartphone down and quit texting. Think of ways that we can use those devices that they're very familiar with and they're gonna get only get better at it, they're all gonna be carrying it, but how can they physically, um, or use those devices to be physically active? Um, and the, the next stage is how can they use those devices to educate themselves and have some part of it. How can they learn nutrition uh, steps, healthy habits with nutrition, or to do something else. But our, our goal in our company is just to, the very minimum, the physical activity part. What, what can they do? on their smartphone, what can they do on a tablet, what can they do on a big projector system they might have in order to use the devices that they already have instead of taking it away from them. So really embrace the technology that's embrace evolving it. around around us right? and use it in a way that positions some you know, healthier outcomes. Exactly. You em embrace 
technology and whatever whatever the kids are into, you know. So if they're into video games, it's this great. I haven't played the video games. Just find an active way to play it. If they're into whatever they're into, the social media part of it, do social games because that's what they like. Um, you know, create fun ways for them to interact together and, and that part, you know, whether it's boys and girls and that kind of stuff. So embrace whatever is there instead of trying to make them fit into something that they don't want to do. Ed, thank you for all that you're doing. Sure. Thank you for a great conference, and uh, we look forward to more and more developments out of Exit Game Fitness and Motion Fitness. Great, thank you.